Daisy is going on her first overnight stay without any family. I am scared for Bear Creek. Even if my hair melts off and it's this <gasps> short, I'm cool. Oh like, my gosh, we're not gonna let it melt. <laughs> you like it? Yes! Did your bird poop in my hair? No. Look up here. No. Okay. Oh, her bird flew in my hair and was stuck in there for a while. Um, oh my gosh, son, come here. Daisy, I oh, love <laughs> you so much. And Daisy, I'll take care of really Sky while you're gone. Are you? Daisy is going on her first overnight stay without any family. No family at all. Are you taking your bird? No, I wish. She's out. Vicious animal. No, she's not. Her. She's a baby. She's it's a baby. <laughs> so she's going to a thing called Clear Creek with the fifth grade in her school. All the girls go together and all the boys go together. So she's going with all the girls in fifth grade in her whole school. Daisy, no going toilet papering. No like staying up doing tickle fights. A good hearted funny prank is always acceptable, but make sure it's appropriate. Um, <laughs> like drawing mustaches on people's faces or something. <laughs> I, I'm gonna need a pack of more. No, 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 I was just kidding. Please do not do that. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna miss you, but I'm happy for you. I'm excited for you. Just, Make good choices. Remember just who one you are. Don't forget to see your prayers. Wow, you see me? And her's here. And so she has to pack a lunch. And I packed her all up, and she's gonna just head out and be a big girl. I'm Stop eating those candies. No way. I was salad. gonna put them in your lunch so I could kiss you while you're gone. Kisses. I am scared for Bear Creek. Really? I'm nervous. Nervous and scared? Nervous and excited. Nervous sided? Nervous sided. What are you scared about? I don't know. Without <laughs> mommy? No. Oh, you didn't bring your blankie. Um, That's okay. Fine, I don't want to risk losing it. What are you most excited about? Um, the craft. Ooh. Did you bring your can? Oh, uh, I guess you won't be doing the craft. Lots of people brought like an entire bag of tin cans. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Dang it, Daisy. <laughs> You're a forgetful one. Yeah. Honey. I have something to tell you. So this cute girl messaged me or emailed me that um, she works at Mandy Sue Salon. She offered to do my hair. I looked at her Instagrams. She does a good job. So I was like, sure, let's do something crazy. And she suggested to go like a platinum blonde with a smudge root. I've never had that before, You've actually. Had short platinum. No blonde. wait. I kind of feel like we're going back to my wedding hair. <laughs> that was pretty short though. The colory though. Like I have like a really, but it wasn't a smudge root, but I loved it. So I think I will like this. I was like platinum blonde short hair, but then I let my roots grow in. So it was a really dark, like straight line. I loved your hair too on our wedding day. No, he loved my hair before the wedding day and then after the wedding day, but on the actual wedding day, he hated my hair because I curled it. I tried to make it look like an updo, which was a terrible decision. <laughs> I should have just wore it spiky how so I say, did. I said, one <laughs> request on our wedding day, don't curl your hair. Well, and I was like, my hair is short, I can't curl it. And then all of a sudden I was like, ooh, I'm gonna make it look like an updo, cause but I'm good at hair. And then I totally had On our wedding day, curly I hair. wasn't even thinking about that. I was just, it's just looking back at the pictures. Awesome. It's just funny to look back, but on the wedding day, I wasn't like, ooh, what's happened to her? I was like. He was just like, I'm getting married and I'm she's my wife. I'm getting married, I'm happy, but um, yeah. <laughs> Every time we look at our pictures. wedding pictures, he's like, I just said, do not curl your hair, why? <laughs> I actually kind of love it. I'm sorry, honey. That's funny. I had to. Funny. I had to do it. It's funny. That's great. Anyway, <laughs> so here's my concern. This is gonna be a challenge for her because I have natural hair. You can see from here to here is like totally natural, no color. Then you see this dark area right there when the sun kind of hits it. When you pull it out, you can see it a little bit better. It's like right here to here is artificial 
color over my already dark hair. So that's going to turn orange. So I'm going to have like, it'll go really light in the root. I'm going to have this orange band and then the ends are already very, very bleached. So they're mixed in with dark pieces though. So this is probably going to take her like seven hours. Like I was kind of just laughing like, girl, I don't think you understand what you're biting off. She's biting off a very large project here. So let's see how it ends up turning out. I have two predictions. One, she spends eight hours on my hair and it looks beautiful at the end and she uses the bright products and it's like gorgeous and I love it. Two, I'm gonna be happy either way, mind you. Like I would not take this risk if I was gonna cry or something. I don't care about my hair. Um, option two is she just puts the bleach all over and just trying to like get it done fast and my hair melts off and then I have to cut it about this short, which I'm fine with that too. And then the rest of it still looks beautiful, but my hair is shorter. <laughs> So we'll see what option happens. I'm totally 100% okay with both. I think my hair will be cute both ways. My hair does not define me. It's just an accessory and I like it all ways. I like it short, medium, long, so I can't, I can't lose. And uh, hopefully she's happy with it in the end and I will be as long as it's not. Like we gotta get rid of this orange band. So that's gonna be the challenge. I think she'll do great. Oh, don't mind if I do. Hello. Sorry, I'm like, oh no. Oh. You're fine. Look how cute it is. Yes. So she's Mandy. So I'm Mandy, Mandy did a good job. It's so cute in here. She's Look at all the trees. Oh, yes, I know. Um, um, it's so cute. I'm going to tell you right now that you might have a really hard area right here. Okay. Because this is my natural right here. Okay. And then this is color. So, so. were you completely blonde before you did the dark? No. It was just color on dark. But it, you know how it just kind of goes brassy. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be your lovely challenge. Okay, cool. And are you good with the trim? Yes, I need a trim. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I told everyone on the vlog already, listen, like, I know we're going light. I know what happens when you go light. Like, even if my hair melts off and it's this <gasps> short, I'm cool. Oh like, my gosh, we're not gonna let it melt off. <laughs> I know, but I, I know it. like what happens when you go with light hair and then try to go platinum. So like the possibilities. Okay. I'm not worried about you it. You know, like, because you Like, if my hair ends up like... short, I'm cool with oh, okay. it. Okay. So, um, just do whatever you want to do. Okay, if you've ever had your hair bleached, yeah. like, to the yeah. scalp, you know what I'm talking about right now. The pain is so intense. It's fire. But it's getting to the numb stage where I can just relax. Like, I'm halfway there. And is it Oh, I'm getting the chills. It's, like, almost to numb. Oh, half of my head is numb now. Oh, it's so close. I didn't know there was a numbing stage. There's a numb stage. Like, it feels like fire, like someone's holding a hot iron to your head, and then it goes numb. <laughs> we did an all over platinum, and then what are you gonna do after? Okay, then we're going to put a root tip, a lighter than the natural, mm -hmm. so that you'll be able to grow it right out. And then gonna tone this all a super pretty icy blonde. Yay! Okay, ready? Open! Oh my gosh! Blonde. I just got 10 years younger! <laughs> oh! So that's the whole thing. You can see the back and the front. So pretty. This is amazing that she got me so light, you guys. Look at this. Um, this was step one in the process. Cause I wanted to have like a really dark root, like a ashy, like gray root almost, and then like platinum ends. And so we only had time today to do step one and I'm like so impressed on how light and pretty even she has gotten this. So like, she's awesome. My hair feels good still. Um, it's not burnt off like I thought maybe it would happen. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm just sitting in the car. Like, I have to just tell you guys how awesome this girl is. She's super cute. She knows what she's doing. I love the cut. She did a great job. Um, I am going to go in in a couple more days and have, like, the, the ashy root put in. And I'm so excited for that. And then I think she's even going to, like, touch up this little band where I had some color. Because, I mean, that's hard to do. It's very, very difficult to get color out and to get an even blonde so it it is a two-step process she did step one today and it is i'm so thrilled she's amazing and i can't wait to show you guys step number two it's gonna be good i'm gonna go home and do my makeup and take a picture and instagram that jazz because i'm excited she's a wonderful stylist okay so now the big reveal the baby i wonder if he's gonna tell me not to shadow the root like i it is shadowed already but it's just like a really light and i was like thinking of dark 
Like she she prepped it so that when we shadow it. Like let's see what he says. Look at your face. <laughs> Look at your face. You like it? Yes! What did you do? That's so weird! Mom, can you bleach my hair? Nope. Do you like my hair, Ender? Uh-huh. But if you bleach it, I can actually use I love that, Ender. hair trap with that blue dog. Ambry, hair chalk is not the most important thing in life. <laughs> okay, here we go. To your new wife. Whoa, fancy pants. I like it. What do you think, Zade? What did you do to your hair? Do you like it? Wow. Uh, do you like it? Love it. So I'm thinking I'm gonna, mm -hmm. oh, he's just gonna kiss me. So I'm thinking we're gonna do like a smudge darker root on Monday. And what do you think about that? Or do you think I should keep it like this? Let's do it darker on top? Why? Just like a smudgy root, I'll show you a picture. Or do you think I should stay really, really light with just like the golden roots? Mom, what happened? Whatever you wanna do, I think it looks great. Evie, look at my hair. You think it's pretty? Yeah. Do you love it? Yeah. Are you tired? Yeah. It's like the dancing baby. <laughs> what smells bad? You making something? Ew. Do you have buttermilk smell bad? A medium spit. No, uh, no, what? what? An electric hand mixer. Don't tell mm. her, April. No, you I'm just friend. asking! We no, don't no, have no. one. It's a test. You don't have we one? don't have one. Well, it's the only thing we don't have. You asked if we had a hand mixer? Yeah. I don't know where the bowl is to this, so this is your hand mixer. Use your hand. Stick it in there. You twist that. <laughs> Good job, Paula! <laughs> Dip it in there more! Come on! And I made me some pepper and buttermilk. That is so gross. Why can't you just use this? Mm. Why can't you just use this? Tangy goodness. Because it has to not be fast. fast enough. Oh, it has to be fast. Oh, we're waiting for bread. Oh, bread. <laughs> Let me just bread. tell you guys. Sourdough bread is an art, and I'm trying to perfect the art of sourdough bread. And my feet are cold, and so... <laughs> <laughs> Look at my hair. Why are we in the ground? <laughs> it looks so funny on the ground like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love the ends. I love, love, love the ends. They're so cute. This needs a little bit more work. Just this this section. Which is to be expected that was dark. Um, yeah. So here we go. Bread. Okay, here's the, the history with the bread. My friend Brooke gave me the sourdough start. And I guess you just like have to feed it every day. So I made it like four days after I kept feeding it. I was doing so good. And I made a loaf of bread and it was delicious. It was so it was, good. It, it was rose really the fat. Best bread it was the ever. best bread I've ever had. Mm -hmm. And she gave me one and it was the best bread oh. I ever had. <laughs> you scared me. So then when I made it and I was like, I was like, that was so easy and it turned out amazing. Well, then I made it again and it didn't rise. So I was like, crap, I forgot to feed the start a couple days. So now I'm nursing the start back to health and I'm testing it today to see. Yesterday I made bread again and it didn't rise. So I'm crossing my fingers that this one rises and I don't know what to do. So if there's any people out there that are like professional sourdough bread. maker, <laughs> bread makers, tell me how to get the big rise. Big fluffy rice. Uh, Baby, are you getting Paula? Uh, 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 <laughs> careful with her. <laughs> it's a massage. Okay, I think that this one was gonna be, I gonna hope be delicious. So. I Magic forgot to cover it in flour. What? I did forget a step, but you hopefully it's it. fine. You gonna get your own sippy?
cramp. Say good night. Say if I'm good in everything. <laughs> See ya.